Hello, I'm Aner Kushnir, VP of Technology at Algosec. In the next few minutes, I will present and demonstrate the Algosec Security Incident Response app for IBM Q Radar. We will see how using Algosec can expedite and automate the handling of security incidents and breaches and reduce their impact on business. But first, some context. Cyber operations or security analysts analyze many alerts and events coming from multiple sources. They typically use SIEM solutions such as QRadar for this task. Their goal is to detect security breaches, report the incident to the relevant people, then analyze the potential impact of the breach and of course stop or at least contain the attack to minimize its damage. Algosec, and specifically the QRadar Security Incident Response app, highlights which business applications may be relevant for the incident, as well as how critical they are. It can also provide visibility into the exposure of the compromised server to the internet, for example to assess the risk of data leakage, or its connectivity to internal more sensitive networks. This provides the security analysts with key information regarding the severity and urgency of the incident. Algosec can also automate the remediation process of security incidents. The analyst can trigger automatic isolation of the compromised server from the network, leaving access only for forensic purposes, for example, all in a single click. Understanding the business impact of the incident will also allow to quickly identify who are the relevant technical and business people to report the incident to. So let's see the Algosec QRadar app in action. So here's my QRadar, and now let's say that I'm investigating the incoming logs looking for suspicious activity. In this case, let's say that uh, this IP address, I suspect it might be a compromised server for some reason. I'll right click on that, go to more options, and I can see that I have now two new options, security incident analysis and isolate server. Let's first go to security incident analysis. So a new window opens up with some more information about this server. So first let's take a look at the business impact. So we can see here a list of all the business applications in which this server is a part of. Meaning if this server goes down, there might be some impact on th these business applications. I can also see here some indication whether these applications are considered critical or not. If I want to further drill down, a business flow page opens with some more information. In this case, let's take a look at the payroll application, which is considered critical. And you can see here that this uh, IP address is indeed part of the flows supporting this application. And in addition, we see information about the application itself, the relevant people, and both business owner and technical contacts. So we have uh, some more uh, information about where to proceed from here. Okay. Going back, we can see here, we also have information about the network connectivity of this server. Specifically here, we have an example with the exposure to the internet, from this IP address to the internet. And we can see here that there are several firewalls along the way f uh, blocking uh, some of the traffic from this server to the internet. However, one of them appears to be allowing the traffic, or at least part of it. Let's have a look at uh, some more details. So here are the traffic simulation query results from the Algosec Firewall Analyzer. We can see here the full path that this uh, traffic will go through from this suspicious server to the internet with all the relevant firewalls along the way. And in this case we can see that one of the firewalls, the checkpoint, is actually allowing some of the traffic. So in this case we can see this is the relevant rule and it allows HTTP and FTP to go out all the way to the internet. This is a potential for data leakage. Okay, so we've gathered some information about this uh, incident and about this server, and now we'll probably inform some people, but in the meantime we also want to isolate this server from the network to avoid any further damage. So let's do that. So again, a right click on this server, more options, and isolate server. A new window opens and now we can provide some more information about this server and issue a new change request to Fireflow, the Algosec workflow piece. 
and I'll hit isolate here and now a new change request was opened requesting to block the traffic to and from this server let's see some more information about this change request we can now see this request has reached Argosec Fireflow we can see some uh, information about this uh, traffic request in this case to block all traffic from this server or to this server alternatively another use case could be to leave access only for forensics purposes and now depending on how the workflow was customized this can be either fully automatic zero touch meaning Fireflow will go find all the relevant firewalls and uh, issue the exact changes that need to be done to, for them and go ahead and push the changes to the firewalls so zero touch from the minute you click isolate and key radar until it actually happens it's uh, maybe a minute or two or alternatively if the workflow is set so that some approval steps are required along the way then that's what will happen you have the full flexibility to control this process Fireflow also keeps full documentation of this change so after the server is patched and ready to get back to the network you can easily undo this uh, change so now that the incident is contained we can go on to our work and look for additional incidents thank you